Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I will be sharing with you guys my top five favorite features of Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13. So first off, this one right here, this is just a little hidden Easter egg. This is where you go inside of the software information, and then you tap on it a few times. You change the clock to 1 p.m., and it's going to show you all these different images, these different backgrounds. It's kind of a fun way, something really cool that you can take a look at, you know, if you want with your phone. And then if you want, maybe you can go through, save some of those images, because maybe some of these pictures here is something that not many people can take a look at. You'd be able to save them and use them as wallpapers or backgrounds. Uh, but pretty much now, I want to show you my top five favorite features. I already made a video talking about every single thing that's brand new on Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13. But this time, I want to bring it down to five, and these ones are my top five favorite. So first off, let's talk about notification types. So sometimes you may get a tweet, you may get a text message, something from Facebook, something from Instagram, something from YouTube, but you want to change how you're getting notified and what you would like to see. So if I was to press and hold on this one, let's say on Twitter, I go inside of the information. Now through here, all you'd have to do is go inside of notifications, and this is where you can change the different types that you would like to see. So maybe I don't really want to see the badge or maybe I don't want a pop-up. So now what's gonna happen here is I won't get that pop-up on my phone where it's kind of interacting and interfering with whatever I'm doing with the device, but now it will show me a number with a badge on top of the icon, uh, and then I will also see it with inside of my lock screen. So there we go with Twitter. That is how I would like to have it all set up. Now, maybe let's go through some text messaging. So when you go inside of text messaging, I'm gonna go inside of the information. Again, I wanna go inside of notifications, and here are all of the different types. So maybe you don't want to have that notification badge. Maybe you get multiple different text messages through the day and you don't want to see a little number on the very top, but you do want to see it on your lock screen and you do want to get notified because maybe it is something important and you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on on the top. So there we go. That's how I'm going to have my messages set up. Again, it is completely different than Twitter. You can go through, you can take a look at pretty much all of your applications. Maybe there's a few of them that you don't even want to show on the lock screen. You can go through, take a look at whatever is important, whichever one come through the most uh, or maybe the least and you want to make sure that you are getting all of those notifications either showing you everything or very minimal again based on whatever your needs are now next up I'm going to show you guys something inside of Samsung labs now there is something that's really cool I want to let you guys know this right here is part of the beta program this is Samsung one UI 5.0 with Android 13 the brand new Galaxy Z flip 4 and fold 4 they are not Android 13 yet and because they're running on Android 12 their one UI version is 4.1 Point one. It's pretty much the exact same features, but because those brand new devices are not on Android 13 yet, that's why it's part of One UI 4.1.1. So here we go. Just so I want to let you guys know that if you see anything cool on 5.0 and you get the newer phones, those will have it as well. So inside of here, I'm going to go inside of the advanced features, and then inside of advanced features, you click on labs. So there are two inside of here that was added in. You have swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen. So swipe for pop-up view just means if you're looking at something and you want it to become a smaller screen, you, tie, you, you basically swipe it from the very top right-hand side or left-hand side. You're able to go as a diagonal, so then that way that application is now in pop-up form. Now, if you want to go inside of split screen, this one's also very cool because you're using gestures from the bottom. You're using two fingers. You swipe up, and now you can have two different applications running at the exact same time. So I can have the Chrome on the bottom, and then I can have whatever I was using up here, which is my settings. Maybe this was text messages, maybe it was YouTube, maybe it was calculator, whatever it may be, swipe up with two fingers from the bottom and it puts it into split screen. Now those three dots in the middle, you can save this. Maybe it's a favorite. You can save it as a split screen that will always pop up if you want those two to be paired up. You can also flip flop them if you want one on the top, one on the bottom. And then if you want to go back to whatever you're doing, just swipe it all the way down and it's going to be large screen again. But if you don't go all the way down, you can just change the size of each of these different displays by going up and down. Now this next one I do love a lot. This is where you're able to grab text from images. So this is just a little folder I created. This is a picture that was taken with the camera. Uh, this one was also a picture taken with the camera here. And you can see that this is just a back of a unit, but there is emails, there is a phone number, there is details, there's the SKU, things like that. Uh, and then also too, this is just a, a, a screenshot. And then this one also is as well a screenshot. So I'm gonna show you an example for all of these. So let's say that we tap on this little text icon. That means 
it's pulling text from pretty much everywhere on here and you can highlight and select all these different areas. So maybe I wanted to put this into a text message or email, you're able to copy and paste it. So again, it's pulling all of the text from this screen. Now this next image, this one is just an email, but because there is a website, a part of it, I can tap on that little T, press and hold, boom, I can open it. So if there is a website you wanna take a look at, either if you took a screenshot or a picture of it, you're able to pull that website and go directly there. This one again, tap on the little T, it's gonna show you everything. So here's a phone number right there, I can press and hold, and if I wanted to, I'd be able to give it a phone call. Uh, here's also uh, an email, you can press and hold it there, you can open up your email. Over this way, maybe they're asking you for your SKU, again, press and hold, and then now you're able to copy, paste it, send it over to them in an email. Again, if you're running into any issues. And then this one's also really cool. Again, from a camera, I just took a picture, I'm able to press and hold, and now I can call this number that's on that sign if I want to. But yeah, pulling text from images is very, very powerful if you know how to use it. The next feature I wanna talk about is a way that you're able to stack widgets. So there was another way you're able to stack widgets from before, but this one's more fluid. It's a part of Samsung One UI native operating system. It's actually really nice. All you'd have to do is press anywhere on the home screen that's empty, you go inside of widgets and through widgets, you can add one to your screen. Now, once you add a widget to the screen, if you were to press and hold, you can edit the stack or you can add a widget. And through here, not only can you add widgets, but you can also delete them, or you'd be able to change the order of which they are sitting on the top. So if you would like to have maybe your your digital well-being be the very first one. That's how you can select it. Now, when you add in a new widget, it's gonna show you all the widgets that are four by one. So beforehand, it would kind of show you all the different widgets of all the different of all the different sizes, but because you're editing this already widget that you put there and you put it as a four by one, because you can edit the size of widgets, now it'll show you all these different ones. You'd be able to tap on it and then you can add it in to that stack. And so now this time, I'm gonna have four different widgets sitting right here instead of the three. So now let's say that we wanted to go back in, there was one that we added in, we wanted to delete it. You can either remove the entire stack itself or you can just go to edit stack, tap on that little delete button, and now you're right back down to your three. And then the last one, it's one that is very small, but I do like what they did here. And that is when you go inside of the settings, you scroll down, you take a look at that security and privacy menu, and this whole menu here has been updated. So things look a little bit different. On the very top, you can scan, you can see what you still need to do. It'll take a look at your, your lock screen, the accounts, find my mobile. So if you don't have find my mobile turned on, this is one of those things you definitely wanna make sure you have a Samsung account that is activated on your phone and you can set it up to where if you lose your phone, you can track it. Even if it's off, it'll show you the last location. Uh, and right here, it's stating that I don't have my device protection turned on. So again, if you wanted to go through, you can turn it on. You can take a look at your updates, making sure that your security update and even your Google Play update is updated to its latest update. Then down here, you have your biometrics, the Samsung Pass, secure folder, secure Wi-Fi, private share, things like that. Everything is all in this one little screen. So it is pretty nice to see this updated version for your security and biometrics of your device. So that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. That is my top five favorite features of Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you appreciate this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.